Now I'm just gonna going to bring my viewport like this, zoom out, and uh, get back to top viewport, and a little bit like zoom out maybe, like so. Using the I uh, select the move tool now. Always when you're selecting vertex or vertices, you want to use the select object. This tool right here, just click on it and select it. But now I want to move it, so when you're moving only, you want to use the select and move tool. Otherwise, you can scroll up bad and not going to see. And if you're building very advanced and complex uh, 3D model, it's going to be very hard later on to fix it. In this simple object or 3D model, it's easy to, uh, to fix few dots or few vertices. It's no problem. And I'm going to move it by Y, by about like so, to make it kind of same I can see on top view it's about the same alright so I have this the same okay and what I'm gonna do now um, from my you can select from the perspective view as well uh, click on a uh, polygon I'm in the polygon mode now because I switch from the vertices to a polygon mode and click on it, click on the icon and um, you can see I'm right now selecting the polygon with select and move tool never select polygon, edge or vertex with select or vertices, polygons and edges with select and move tool use always select object tool like this so you will never mess up so I'm gonna click here and I'm going to click here and uh, I'm going to just dislike this one for now like so and what I'm gonna do I'm just going to go ahead and click insert and you already know what is insert by now you should and maybe not one by two a little bit smaller click enter amount like so that's fine I'm gonna click OK next I'm going to insert here why didn't select this at the same time because it has some edges over here and I if I will click insert and select them all three of them it's not going to look good uh, because this one has more edges it kinda not uh, identical to other polygons because this has three polygons actually and uh, when I'm selecting three it's look like this single polygons from left or right so I'm going to click here insert now and by two as well and kinda of the same thing going on here also what is group you wanna by group if you wanna uh, do something like this but as I had three polygons here and let's say if I wanna insert in every single one if I select more than one how to do so I'm just need to select insert type by polygon and dun dun dun, you can see every single polygon has its own insert. But now I just want one insert on all selection. So group it means all selection will have only one insert. Polygon means every single polygon in that selection will have its own insert. Now it's group that insert identical to this. So alright, now I have three insert polygons. I'm gonna select them with the control key holding it and select two more and then I'm going to use the extrude tool click the extrude tool and it's going to extrude to the top I wanna say minus five maybe like so alright minus five excellent I'm gonna click OK and let's use the orbit tool rotate our camera and zoom in zoom out using the third mouse button or the zoom uh, icon yeah, it's look like a three pin connector. And just squeeze it a little bit and it will look like so. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to now it's three polygons selected. First I wanna make sure that I'm get out of the polygon mode. I'm going to click on polygon icon again, so deselect it. Now I'm working with the whole model or the whole object, the object uh, or primitive and what I'm gonna do using this select and uniform tool let's bring our front view uh, to uh, focus and I use this again zoom extend selected 
click on phone view and it's going to bring our uh, the selected object to the focus straight into the camera face all right maybe scale it by y like so yeah and um, maybe move it like so here we go we got it we got perfect our three pin connector and the wire all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm going to connect a wire to a select the wire and wire is going to be linked to this connector so I selected the wire and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use the select and link click on it and click on a wire somewhere and then click on that uh, purple uh, box which is 3 pin connector it's going to go white for a second and unselect it now so it's linked wires is again linked to a 3 pin connector now if I'm going to move 3 pin connector I'm moving it with the wire you can see okay it's acting like a uh, child and parent sort of okay let's undo because we were positioned perfectly in our top view let's have a look where we at right now zoom in let's have a look yeah we kinda just perfect we are at the position where we want it and let's bring our perspective view kinda the whole model and rotate our camera in perspective view and maybe render this using the rendering render nice so we got it we got our fan and we got uh, the wire and we have the 3 pin connector we have everything what we wanted and uh, kinda similar to a reference image we don't need to be exact this the the same as our reference image maybe scale it our fan a little bit more so what we're gonna do just going to select the fan first let's select those um, these guys right here and what we wanna do on those guys we wanna kinda bring them here let's get undo and select them and wire uh, what are those guys okay that's that backplate okay so we want to select them and we want to select the wire with the control button and the connector and kind of we want to bring them in like so maybe lower it down so it's not touching the fan somewhere like that nobody gonna you know go inside if somebody will go inside and check it out you probably need to get the fan open up and you know just study how the fan look like inside exactly and just model exactly and position exactly as it is on a fan so you got an idea right we're just going to get close and it's going to be just fine when we're going to render alright and uh, I got it something like that let's now what we do um, we're just going to scale it so I'm going to select the fan as well just the fan without uh, those um, holders and I'm going to just scale just the fan maybe like so okay and now I wanna make sure that um, yeah and it's late now so guys if you appreciate what I'm doing just thumbs up and subscribe for more it's free learning and I'm sharing the experience and I think it's very valuable for those beginners after this video you will be able to model everything what you see and bring it into the 3D world as I said okay somewhere like that we're in good shape 
maybe bring those guys maybe first scale them and bring them to the top a little bit like so so why are going to stick in it like that so we're fine now and that's that's how our fan look like and uh, let's go ahead and save it always saving some progress my suggestion I'm not because I know my computer is so powerful and I know uh, that I'm not going to do any hard uh, mistake that's going to crash the 3ds max but since you're a beginner because I have more than five years experience in 3ds max studio and 3ds max design but since you're exper not experienced and you're a beginner always save the progress and try to name it as different file name okay so as again this video will be split into multiple parts if you're watching over the YouTube please watch them all and here we go we have perfect our fan and it's not textured yet and but it's photorealistic as you can see and uh, looking great looking great let's maybe get a little bit to the top our box 3 pin connector on top of the wire Okay, let's undo and let's lower the wire okay how to unlink it see like I'm moving and it's moving the wire as well because we linked unlink it you're gonna click this chain right here broken chain unlink selection tool uh, and now you can 